In this video, I'm going to quickly show you why your mix sounds bad, or different, after exporting it, and how to fix it. If this is your first time here and you want to learn all about FL Studio and music production in general, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell as well. I often get asked about this. A typical scenario is when you've made a track and it sounds great inside FL Studio or whatever DAW you're using. But then after you export it and listen to it a bit on your media player, it sounds really bad. Oftentimes people think this is a problem with the DAW itself, but it's not. In my experience, there's really just two main reasons why this happens. First of all, make sure that you choose the best possible quality when exporting the track. I actually have another video explaining in detail how to get the best possible sound quality when exporting in FL Studio. So if you don't already know about this, then check out that video when you're done with this one. You can find the link in the description below. Now, the second thing that might cause this, and this is the most common reason, is that the sound is being affected by some kind of audio enhancements running in the background. If you use an integrated sound card like the Realtek HD, for example, then there will almost always be some kind of software running in the background, like the Realtek HD Audio Manager, for example. These applications often change the way things sound by adding 3D effects, surround, EQ enhancements, and gaming enhancements to make it easier to hear footsteps and so on. This is obviously not ideal for listening to music. So what you want to do is to make sure that any kind of third-party software like that is turned off completely, or better yet, uninstall it unless you really need it. It can also be the audio settings on the media player itself, so make sure everything is turned off there as well. If you've done all of this and you still feel like it sounds slightly better inside your DAW, then it's most likely because it's louder inside FL Studio. Unfortunately, louder always sounds better to humans, so don't allow yourself to get fooled by that. Try matching up the volume, and it should now sound just as good. If you're serious about producing music, then I strongly recommend getting a proper audio interface. There are many benefits associated with using one of these. It has all the inputs and outputs you'll need, so you can hook up a microphone, guitar, studio monitors, headphones, and so on. It will also come with its own low-latency ASIO driver, and it will never install any bloat in your OS that will change the way playback sounds outside of your DAW. If you're thinking about getting an audio interface, then I have a few videos about that as well, like how to choose an audio interface, and my top five budget audio interfaces. I hope this was helpful. And as always, if there's any specific tutorial you'd like us to make, or if you have a question, just let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to check out the links below if you need feedback on your music, mastering, and so on. Thanks for watching.